Did you know, in the quaint village of Imkoshere, we celebrate the Inktober Festival every year, where artists showcase their finest in creations. It's quite the delightful spectacle. How is the weather for you currently? Oh, honey bunny, the weather here in Inkolshire is positively enchanting. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and everything feels simply marvellous. Where in England is Inkolshire? Ah, Inkolshire. It's a charming little town nestled within the heart of England, surrounded by rolling hills and lush meadows. A truly picturesque setting, if I do say so myself. Can you tell us about the major landmarks in Inkwellshire? Ah, yes indeed. There's the Grand Inkwell Castle, adorned with swirling ink patterns and towering spires. Then we have the bustling Inkwell Marketplace, where merchants and artisans gather to share their wares. And of course, the serene Inkwell Gardens, where one can stroll amidst blooming ink flowers and tranquil ponds. These are just a few of the splendid landmarks that make Inkwalsha such a delightful place to explore. All hell, cream eat. Oh my dear Koga, you flatter me so. But, alas, there's much more to my ink-stained adventures than mere royal titles. Why does a village have a queen, though? Oh, I was. One mustn't ponder such trifles. The title queen simply adds a touch of unzi to our jolly little village. After all, who wouldn't enjoy being ruled by a charming lass like myself? Wink, Val. Mate, in my new castle, can you give me a route to get to Inkwalsha? Ah, oh, Rodney Folk. To reach Inkwalsha from New Castle, simply follow the A1 southbound towards York, then veer off onto the Annan 18. Keep an eye out for the signposts. They'll guide you right to our incredible village. Mate, would you save the world if it meant giving up Inkwalsha? By George, I was 666. That's a rather tough proposition indeed. Inkwalsha is my home after all, but... If it meant saving the world, I suppose sacrifices must be made. 